Hello, we're going to do another video on shapes and what I'm going to teach you is what's called grouping and ungrouping. Now let's say I have a picture, ow, I just banged my hand on the table. Um, so let's say I'm going to do a new window. I'm going to look for a picture of, and this is going to be really embarrassing, skeleton. Okay, let's go skeleton, let's go images. And I really just want a picture of, let's say a skeleton. Okay, so let's go grab one. And it doesn't really matter which for this example. So let's just go grab one. Okay, let's bring them back to Excel. I'm just going to paste it here. Okay, so what I want to do is highlight certain parts of this. So if I go insert shapes, I'm going to do some arrows. So let's say I'm going to point to the skull. I'm going to point to the the arm muscle i don't know what that's called i'm an analyst so i don't know i don't know bones right i know this is a femur i think medical students are going to be laughing i know these are toe bones i guess you call them these are phalanges um this is the spine and so on right so you can do that the problem with it is let's say i move the skeleton by accident none of it is there anymore and let's say i wanted to move the whole thing over here i can't do that either right because it's not all connected so let's complicate things a little bit more let's add some text boxes right so i'm going to use this one right here let's add a text box okay and i'm just going to duplicate this so to duplicate you just press ctrl d all right and it's a quick way of just making multiples so let's say i've labeled all these i'm just going to move everything to the right actually all right Let's move this one over here. Let's move this one over here and move this one. Oh, I duplicated the exact same amount, right? I want all of this to move in one go. So here's how you do it. You can select them all one by one, like so, like this, and then hold control on your keyboard, select, select. The problem with this method is if I accidentally click here, it resets. And if I have <laughs> like 30 of these are gonna do, it's going to take ages so instead you can use this if you go to the home menu tab over here and you go to the far right you're going to see the find and select right and if i go in here you're going to see select objects what this does is for anything that's an object meaning not cells right i can create an area around them and it highlights all of them in one go right now it, i need to have the entire object in the border that i'm doing Right? If I do just half, it's not going to select it. Okay? It's not going to do anything. So I need to do the whole thing. Right? I do that. Now there's two ways to group. You can either go to format, group, right? Or you can right click on one of these objects, right? And then go group. And what's going to happen is instead of be them being individual uh, objects, it's going to be one object. So if I move this one object, the whole thing moves together, okay? I don't have to select everything each time, right? So they are still individual objects, they're just grouped together. So to ungroup, I can again only, I can go here and go ungroup, or I can right click on one of the objects. Uh, let's do this one and go ungroup, okay? So another individual once again. Now, if you wanted to move something within the group without having to ungroup it, what you do is you activate it first like so, and then you select it again and you'll see that the borders are now dashed which means it's still active but this is the one that's the real focus All right so even if i move it over here and i move the grouping again it's still within the same group okay so it still moves together All right so that's the grouping function so i hope you enjoyed and see you next time